Caden, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Let's go. And go. Oh, he's going. Like... So it's bank holiday Sunday, the sun's out, which means one thing, it's time to get down the kitties and work the bank holiday street party. It's always a good time. Right, so, <clears throat> where are we? It is the 8th of May, which means we are exactly one month away from fight night. So I've got a month left to make sure I'm prepared. So yeah, time to put that extra bit of work in and just make sure, you know, that we're covered with everything. But on a good note, I only went and landed a couple of flips today, round off, back touch, done. Almost hit a gainer, or a moon kick, or whatever they call them these days, but they're getting there, they're getting there. Let's see if I can get them by the end of the month. Morning. So it's Monday the 13th of May. So <clears throat> getting closer to the fight. Um, feeling good but feeling nervous at the same time, you know. Due to due to work commitments and just everything else going on, I haven't been able to train as much as I'd like to. And then yesterday I was really naughty with my diet and had so much bad stuff, but it tastes so good. The last few weeks have been like ups and downs there's a lot there's a lot going on but you know uh, whereas before I was kind of locked myself away and become a bit of a recluse I haven't let myself get to that point I make sure I'm out of the house I make sure I'm seeing friends I make sure I'm always occupied <clears throat> and it, it's, it does massively help it's great you know and uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, it makes me feel a lot better which is good so uh, yeah things are real good in that in that, in that in that aspect of things so I'm happy with that and uh, yeah let's get these next four weeks out of the way Been training on hard and then see what happens on June 8th <laughs> I've been moving calm don't start no trouble with me trying to keep it peaceful there's a struggle for me don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cuddle with me you know how I like it when you love me I don't want to die for them to miss me yes I see the things that they wish on me hope I got some brothers that I live me I just finished training. Tough session. I practically got beat up in the ring by Freddie and Dan. But I suppose silver lining was the last of the rounds. My fitness was good. I didn't get too tired. Um, I took some good shots. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about it right now. Um, it's one of those things, I guess, because of. I don't know. I think I've disappointed myself, but then I need to remember I was sparring with two people who've got a lot more experience than I have. So, yeah, I guess that's, that's one thing. I don't know. But I can't let it get me down too much. So, um, yeah. I got beat up. <laughs> they probably. They're both. I don't know, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to figure out some crap excuses right now, but yeah, training was hard. It was hard. 
and now I'm back off to go to teach again. So let's go. So it's been an interesting few days uh, and I took on some challenges again, which was good. So obviously I got beat up in training on Tuesday um, and I recovered from that, which was nice. No longer have a headache. <laughs> and uh, yesterday it was Rhythm City classes and I decided to get involved with some choreography again. So I picked up the choreography to Jordan's new routine, which was absolutely amazing and it felt real good to do so. Um, hopefully I'm going to try and make it a bit more of a habit to learn that choreography again, um, which was really nice. So, and then today in school, I did a big solo showcase dance thing because all the kids asked what I can do. So it felt nice to do that again. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, windmills, crickets. I pulled a few things out, which was nice. Uh, I was in absolute agony after because I am getting old. Well, I say getting old, my body feels like it's 70 years old, but... It's all good. Things have been all right. The last few days, well, I say a few days, I think for the last just over a week, it's been, uh, you know, up and downs in terms of like emotions and feelings and highs and lows. Um, but I think the way I've kind of conducted myself and handled it has been good. Um, I've kind of got myself out, made sure I was speaking to people. Um, and obviously it's Mental Health Awareness Week, so it's, you know, it's nice to see a lot of the stuff that people are posting up. I've read a few really interesting blogs. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's, it's been good, you know, like, it's been good. I'm still focusing on June 8th, that's the real big aim for me right now, and to see that I do well in that and not get knocked out. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's all good. So um, yeah, like, halfway through... Halfway through May now, and yeah, things things are things are good. You know, there's always going to be those challenges. It's how you get down, how you get through those, how you break down that wall. And like the new job's going well, I'm really enjoying it. I think I'm starting to settle in. And that's real nice. So yeah, let's see what what else is to come. What's good? So, today at school was good, it was selection day, and I have the biggest, biggest group <laughs> ever wanted to take my class, which makes me feel really good. I've been quite slack with uh, filming stuff recently, just keep forgetting. I've been so busy, I've had so much on. So, it's Monday night, it's the 20th, and we're off to have a few, well for me, non-alcoholic beverages because it is Kofo's birthday! <laughs> Kofo's birthday. For once she doesn't want to talk. Last time I got told to shut up. <laughs> shut up Kofo. But yeah, we're off to meet a few of the guys. Should be good fun. I'll be home early though. Got work in the morning. I'm a, I'm a responsible adult now. So yeah, let's uh, have some fun for Kofo's birthday. Happy birthday Kofo! 
Happy birthday, Kofi! <laughs> So, so we're almost at the end of May, um, obviously I'm almost six months into vlogging and yeah my vlogs have they've been good, I've been really enjoying doing them, um, but I guess obviously it's one of those things you have to show like not just the good but the bad or the the, the the happy but the sad kind of thing like so um i've had a really good few days but you know i just i think i've hit one of those low slumps and i don't know what it is like nothing bad happens but for some reason i'm just feeling like shit no i don't really know what it is I've been out, keep myself occupied, I've been training. But yeah, I just seem to have hit one of those walls. I don't know. <sighs> just to wait and see, I suppose, and just keep obviously pushing forward. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Give a few friends some some messages and a few calls tonight, I think. So.